going to model and texture this tank. So what I want to do is make sure that I've got background images selected and on my computer it was helicopter 10 even though it's a tank. It's just the way it goes sometimes. So when you have the background images I have it on the view on the one view to look at it and what I'm going to do is put my cursor in the center because I like to do that. So I'm going to add a cube since I deleted my default cube. Add mesh cube. Select all the points and grab it. Put it right about right here. Scale that down. See, what we want to do is think about what the form of the tank is going to be. And you can see the tracks go down, but on the front view of it, the tracks don't go across the whole tank. So I have to do that. Oops. Extrude up. E for extrude, in case you're not familiar with that and extrude up again that's pretty good so what I'm doing is I'm border selecting all of my points like if I want this corner here when I select it I've only gotten one of them so what I've got to do is press B and loop all the way around it I'm going to keep this fairly simple because for time constraints. So I will just do this as simple as possible. Bring that down. That's pretty good. So you can see all I'm really doing is selecting certain points on my cube and then hitting E to extrude it. That's going to be good enough for now. So, just select the points and E to extrude. This one I'm going to scale on the Z only, so that's S and then Z. I think I'm going to add a loop cut to this because I'd like this to go up higher. So Control R adds a loop cut. One click and then I can adjust it. And that's pretty good. Border select that. That's got the shape pretty good now. So, the next thing I'm going to do is add a modifier to it because I want both sides of the tank to be modeled at the same time because I'm going to extrude the tracks out. Um, X is the wrong modifier, so I'm going to go to Y. And I know that's right, but I'll show you here in a sec how that's right. I changed my merge limit to 0.1 because then it'll merge uh, better easier so I go back to my edit mode select all points and drag it out and look at that see how it snaps right to itself in the middle that's exactly what I want so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it my selection to faces and select these faces then I'm gonna extrude those out to where it looks like it's as wide as the tracks would be. See, it's already starting to look like a tank a little bit. And that is pretty good. I'm going to select, whoops, I'm going to select these. Go back to my view here, and I'm going to make this a wireframe view. Now I'm going to extrude down, and my tracks will go down. 
scale on the x-axis to that point. That looks pretty good, actually. Look at that. It's looking like a tank. So then I'm going to go out of edit mode and apply my uh, modifier. This way it's now all one thing. And I'm going to add a, a cylinder. Rotate it. Nine zero enter, grab, and bring it down here where the gun is. Scale that way down. Bring my view in so I can get it on the gun. Scale it again. And select no points. Grab these and bring them. Ooh, undo that. I'm on. I'm still on faces, so I'm going to change this to points. Border, select, grab this, scale it up. Actually, I'm going to go back here and scale it right here. And then I'll scale, I'll extrude again and scale it way up. There we go. Border select. And this is going to be good enough for our purposes. That looks like a tank. Next to texture it. The first thing I'm going to do to texture it is set up my material. Now I've already got a material set up from before, but I'm going to make a new one. So new. You see I get a couple of nodes here. And what I'm going to do is add a image texture and put the color in here. Then I'm going to add an input down to texture coordinate. And we're going to go from UV to vector. That's it. Uh, but, okay, not quite it. <laughs> I have to choose my image that is on the image texture. And it's helicopter, which is actually a tank on my computer. So I go back to my 3D view and go to wireframe again and then I'm gonna open this guy up this is actually my helicopter again okay so I know that that's the same file that I have my image texture pointed at so I go to that view right here select all vertices by pressing A and hit U to unwrap I'm gonna project from view because I want to go I want to it to project on it based on how I see the tank right now. Bam! And it made a little miniature tank right here on my image. So I'm going to zoom that up. I'm going to scroll that. I'm going to scale that up. Scale until it matches my tank. Grab. Scale. I'm going to make sure my points are pretty much as close to in everything as they are. as you know, try to keep the coloring inside the lines. So I'm going to scale back down just too much. Grab. And I think that might be pretty good. So now it's pretty much mapped to the image on the UV mapping. So I'm going to go out of edit mode and I'm going to change my view to material. And you can see it now it really looks like a tank because it's got the material on it. Now I don't really like this white line across here. Stupid. So I'm going to go back into my edit. I'm going to try and get rid of that line by moving this point lower. These points lower, rather. Yeah. Or select that. Grab on the Y. Yeah, look, my line went away. That's awesome. But even these top lines, these ones are irritating me too. So what I'm going to do is put a different part of the texture on the top part. So I'm going to hold down Shift and select these panels. And I'm going to hit U to unwrap, but this time just regular unwrap. And you see I got this square here. So what I'm going to do now is grab this square. Oops, I'm going to grab all these points on this square and put it on this track skirt right here. 
rotate 90. You can see I'm it's putting it on the model. So what I'll do is scale this on the Y to bring it down to the size of the skirt. Grab this. And that's looking way better. I mean, it's not perfect. It'd be better if I had a top view on my image. If I had some image data that gave me a top view, that'd be great, but I don't. You do what I do what you can with what you have. In my case, the video that I, my intro video had really only side views of the tanks. So I only tried to make it good enough for the way I was going to be viewing it. Like here's an example of these in front here. The track texture is going all the way across and it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to unwrap it, scale, whoops, scale it down, whoopsie, got to select all of them. Scale it down, grab it, and put it, grab it, scale it again, and look at that. See, that's way better looking. And I can do that basically anywhere where things are bothering me, like this back deck here. Let's just do this one as another example. Unwrap, select all points, grab. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, scale it down. There we go. Now look at that. This is a lower poly tank than the one that I used in the video. And the video I used to this one right here. So you can see that there's more detail um, in terms of the model. See how much more complicated the model is. Plus the turret moves so I made the turret its own thing its own object so if I rotate I can but it's based on your needs and what you how much detail you're going to be showing in in the application that you're doing so it's really all based on you as the artist how many details you want to include and how many you need for what you're using it for. That's pretty much all I was going to say about that. Thank you for watching.